under various categories. And those categories we are proposing are not limited to what we've stated here, uh, <clears throat> agriculture, trade, manufacturing, uh, IT, whichever. It is all categories that are supposed to be recognized, whether by law or by regulations of the country, so that in the future, these people are able to move as a defined group of entrepreneurs and they seek money from banks, from other financiers, and they are able to improve their own <clears throat> uh, economic growth. It's important also to note the government's agenda on the bottom up, that we want the bottom to come up, it replaces the middle, and that's why we are saying the middle out, and we are also able to reach the top. The bottom-up policy is that we must move to the small persons who are on the ground, who are at the bottom of the pyramid. We are able to fund them, whether through the Hustler Fund, through um, the Women Enterprise Fund, through the youth, whichever it is, we are able to fund What's them. What's your point of order, Honorable? Uh, thank you. I rise on a point of order. Honorable Speaker, uh, just uh, uh, in a few, I saw members recognize the presence of the Honorable uh, Mili Odiambo, uh, member for Suba South, having uh, uh, indicated that she's around the house. But uh, it's just of interest to me, Honorable Speaker, whether it is in order that uh, the Honorable Mili Odiambo comes to the house in a nice, order, fitting, order, order. In a nice fitting pair of jeans. I don't know if that is a part of the code of dressing. Uh, she's in a very nice fitting jeans and she's, she seems to be uh, like she's from the airport. Is it in order that she comes dressed that way, Honorable Speaker? I seek your indulgence on this matter. Thank you. I don't know. Time. <laughs> you have not seen. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, I think you haven't seen that. Uh, times have changed. Yes. I, I know that would have been a problem in the 10th Parliament. But I don't know if it's a problem now. <laughs> I see women in trousers all the time here. <laughs> order, order. Thank you. I, I, I think until such a time that uh, the dress code itself is revisited by, Absolutely. The, by, by the house, we will allow people to maintain the way they're dressed now. Proceed. Thank proceed you very on. much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the dress has to be decent. And I have seen Honorable Mili of Yambo. She's actually very well dressed. Uh, decent and um, she's able to participate and uh, the honorable Lillian dr Lillian gogo as um, no 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 the, the bottom is not visible now we are seeing her from the top and uh, you see we're talking about bottom up down <laughs> so order, 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 honorable members. all right therefore as i continue honorable dr Lillian, you have now inter interrupted my very good thoughts and lino, lining floor, because <clears throat> what you are saying about Proceed, this is this, that the current government is actually emphasizing on the bottom-up economic approach. And the Americans, too, are talking about this approach. Therefore, it is not a myth. It is not shrouded in mystery. It is actually doable, and the only way it can be done is if the same government comes up with a policy, a policy that is actually unified for all sectors, such that we pay more attention to the bottom as we do not also disregard the top because we have to collect our taxes, we have to ensure we have investment, but also those at the bottom, it is the high time they came up. We are thinking of various legislation, and this house must support that re legislation. Because without a, a proper legislative policy, we cannot have any other, whether economic, social, or whatever policy.